Hi, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV, and in this segment I'm going to talk to you about flash duration, how the speed of light can make your pictures sharp. Adorama TV presents Photo on the Go with Joe McNally, where you'll go behind the scenes to see how great photos are made. So I'm about 60, 65 stories up in the central business district of Beijing. And they've let me up there to do, you know, construction picture, you know, because they're, you know, rebuilding really uh, the city of Beijing, lots of skyscrapers and whatnot. Anyway, uh, I go up there and um, I'm working for a client based in Beijing and they want to get some sort of snazzy dusk picture. And they're doing some welding, some, you know, uh, and some cutting and sparks everywhere up there. So I suggest the position to do this in. And I realize that I'm going to have to blend the city. What's the driver here? The ambient light level, right? So I have to accommodate the darkening city. And I also want that to happen because what does that result in? A longer shutter speed, which then the sparks create tracer lines and you have the possibility for a very graphic picture. But what's the danger zone? Your picture will be unsharp. If I shot this available light, I'd have an unsharp mess on my hands. So what I did was I placed a flash on a Justin clamp. Handy. I keep them in my bag or I clip them to my bag. And so I put one simple flash on a railing, you know, or whatever I could find on the construction site. It is off to camera right. So here's the deal. All right. Here's the ledge. Let's do a kind of a bird's eye view here. This is the ledge. Here's my welder. Okay. He's got his helmet on and he's uh, here with the spray is coming out here, the sparks. Here's another column that he's working on here, and he's got the, the weld operation going there. Here's, you know, the city of Beijing and the traffic and everything, 65 stories below. There's a railing here, and we're standing on a girder. I am outside the railing with him. I don't have a safety harness. So I go jump outside the railing. Well, maybe not jump. And I get my camera, wide lens. I shot this at 12 millimeters. And I brace myself. Here's what I did. I hang on to the railing with my left arm, okay? I brace the camera in my right, and I lean out this way over traffic. My fixer reaches over and grabs my belt. And that's our safety harness right there. Um, unfortunately, I'm about 200 pounds and my fixer was maybe 130 pounds. So if I was going, he was going. Anyway, the flash on the Justin clamp is right over here. I am hitting this guy's shoulder with a hard blast of light. No light shaper, nothing like that. Everything is just very direct. I send a signal from my commander flash from my position out here, hanging on to the railing, trigger that, flashes him, he retains an essential sharpness. I get the sparks flying into the street and the glow of the city. It's a two second exposure, handheld. I wouldn't have a prayer of shooting that sharp if I didn't use flash. So uh, the mechanics are fairly simple. One flash, freezing my subject or sharpening my subject. And then the rest of it just becomes an available light exposure. The key or the challenge for me is to hold my camera steady during that time and let the flash do its work of sharpening the image for me. Hi, Joe McNally here for Adorama. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win prizes. Another key to the picture, the weld itself. It's like the power of a thousand suns. And so what was happening as he was welding, this here was getting white hot light on it. So what do I have to do? I had to corral that exposure. So I found another piece of girder, like a chunk of steel, and we drug it over here and we laid it down over his weld. So in other words, he's welding and the steel is on top of it and it forces the exposure to stay underneath that and not climb up this. It also had this corollary benefit of forcing the sparks to go out into the street. And uh, that was it. One light and the power of the speed of light, flash duration. This is Joe McNally for Adorama TV. Flash gives you a chance to stay sharp even when you're hanging off a building with one hand and a two second handheld exposure. Do you want 
great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.